Memorial Day, everybody. It is still gray, but we are going to be optimistic that by the time we make the three-hour drive down to Maryland, the sun's going to come out and it's going to be a beautiful beach day. Uh, going to the beach is a Memorial Day tradition for my family ever since my kids were little. And as you can see, my kids, they ain't so little anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to head down into Philly, pick up Nikki, and we are going to go to the beach and see the ponies. See you there. So we made it to the beach. Uh, not a bad drive, especially since we left at six o'clock in the morning. Uh, and true to tradition, because Nikki's with us, we have seen no ponies yet, but we will do everything we can to see some of those. But first, we're gonna get changed and get down on the beach. It's a little chilly, so I don't know how long we're gonna stay, but I gotta soak my leg because nothing heals wounds like ocean water so we'll get in there and get into it.
for anybody who's not familiar with Assateague Island, Assateague is a national park down on the Maryland border just south of Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. And it is most famous for the wild horses that live here. Uh, people, young, especially young women of a certain age, will have read in their childhood the books uh, Misty of Chincoteg and Stormy of Assateague. Um, and those are childhood stories about the horses that live here. Uh, what they think happened is in the 1600s, ships foundering on the shoals off the coast here uh, crashed and the horses that they had in their hold escaped and swam to shore here and basically set up their own herd. And nobody was coming out here because it was too hard to access um, and too unstable for settlement at the time. So the horses just were free to roam. And then, I believe in the 20s or 30s, one of the local communities in Chincoteg, Maryland, started rounding up some of these horses and auctioning them off to raise money for their local fire department. And that is still done today. You can still come down for the roundup and see them swim the horses. So, but for the most part, the horses just wander freely here. They, we have seen them come down on the beach when we've been down here swimming. Nice. Um, we have had them in our campsites uh, and they have the right of way. We are not allowed to go within 40 feet of them. They do bite, they do kick. Uh, so they are pretty to look at and you let them do their thing at a distance. Unfortunately for Nikki, <laughs> Every time we have come here with Nikki, we have not seen a single pony. Well, we did see him from a distance like the first time, but... Right. So, we are hoping to break that today. Um, it's a little cold to go swimming, although Xander, my middle child, is ready to get in as soon as anybody else stands still enough to keep him safe. So, we're heading back so he can get some swim time. But even so, even without seeing the ponies, it's a beautiful beach. Ah, oh, I missed another pelican shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. That might have been your clock from earlier. It might be. But, all right. But we're just going to enjoy the beach. <laughs> collected seawater and I accidentally got a crab. Here he is. There's a little crab. He's just going in circles. <laughs>
so that was a good beach day it was a little chilly so we ended up not going in a whole lot um, but it felt good once you were in for a while it got warmer but it was not Xander was the only one who went in all the way but I think I got some good soaking on my injury and that'll help a lot uh, the we saw lots of wildlife we did finally Nikki finally got to see her ponies uh, Granted unfortunately it was in amongst a lot of crowds, so we couldn't really stop and get a good look, but it was still Proof of life and she feels much better about coming here now that she knows there are real ponies and not just piles of pony poo all over the island so we had a really good time and we have committed to coming back to an ocean beach again at least once or twice more this summer but we'll figure that out in the future so i hope everybody had a great memorial day and i will see everybody next weekend take care bye